so now I have Kyle and Travis's pictures. Um, so we have this photo right here of the light pole. I think yeah, that photo of Kyle right there, okay? And Kyle, your idea was to have you literally hanging on like, like you're being blown away, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So what you need to do is you need to open up both of those images. So I'm gonna drag this one into Photoshop. And I'm gonna get this one, I'm gonna drag it into Photoshop as well. All right, so the idea again is we're taking this and we're placing it onto this photo. I gotta tell you, this bugs the heck out of me right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my selection tool. I'm gonna get the lasso tool out and you actually might wanna do this as well. Hey buddy. All right, thank you. So I'm gonna get my lasso tool out and this lasso tool allows you to draw any shape selection you want. I'm gonna draw a selection around this orange cone because it's really distracting to the eye. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna edit this image and I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna fill my selected area in, now with a color. So it says contents, what am I gonna fill this with? Not with white or gray or black, but I'm gonna do this thing called content aware. Now, what this does is it actually analyzes my image and it looks at the pixels around this and tries to find patterns and it, it's like, it's AI. So it, it kind of comes up with its best guess of what this should look like without any distracting parts, like probably the orange. So I'm gonna hit okay. And there it's going. That's a pretty cool trick. Photoshop um, started doing that a few years ago when AI started hitting. So we can literally edit our photos to get rid of things like that. So I've got this image right here. I'm gonna click on this tab to go to this photo. Now, the tool that I'm gonna show you guys, it's not the lasso tool. Because if we were to draw a selection with the lasso tool, oh my God, that would take so long to do. So we're not gonna use that one. The new tool that I'm gonna show you is over here, it's the big four, it's these four right here, but it's this one, okay? Most likely it's gonna say magic wand tool, but if you hold down with your mouse, you'll find more options. And that's why I want is you to see the board up close because each one of these tools in Photoshop, if we hold down, it reveals more. There's hundreds of tools in Photoshop, so your toolbar can't be that big. Right? So what they do is Adobe, they hide the different tools with what their you know, counterparts are. So I'm gonna hold down and I'm gonna get what's called the quick selection tool. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and I'll have it up on the board while we're working on this, just so you know what tool to get. And again, it's called the quick selection tool. This kind of works like AI because you click on a color and what it does is it analyzes the pixels and it goes, oh, you want this color? So I'll get these other pixels that are just like that, right? And if I start to paint, and that's what this actually looks like, the quick selection tool is like a paintbrush. If I start to click and paint, look at that. It just got the entire shoe. And if I start to paint on his pants, it's gonna start to get the pants as well. Everywhere I go, it's gonna to start to analyze and add to my selection as I'm painting. And when I let go, it makes a more refined selection. And can you imagine drawing that with the lasso tool? That would have taken forever. So this is one of the cool things about Photoshop. It's constantly improving, adding more tools using you know, the new technology like AI, how it can analyze the image. Now, I let go of my mouse, and right now, let's hide this layer. This is, just, this is the only selection I have, right? Just his foot and part of his pants, that's it. So I let go, and that's what it, I'm left with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this selection again, or show the layer. The, the tricks that I'm gonna show you guys today 
There's two keys on the keyboard when we use our selection tools. One of them is the shift key. Now that's when you use it to make your capital letters, right? You hold down the shift key. When you're using Photoshop and you hold down shift, you add to your selection. So if I start to paint again with the shift key held down, I can add. And if I make a mistake, look at that. It got some of the green right there. I hold down the other key on the keyboard, which is option. The option key is next to the space bar. It's, it's right down there. But what the option key does, because it accidentally got this green, let me see if I can turn down the opacity. Is that better for you guys? Can you guys see that better? So it got all of this. If I hold down the option key, I can subtract from my selection. And as I paint, it gets rid of the green. Now I still have, let's see if you guys can see, this is the edge of my selection right here. It's still selecting some of that green, but look at my brush, it's huge. So this quick selection tool right up here, the properties for it, whenever you use a tool, the properties will be displayed at the top. One of the properties is the size. So if I hold down on this little, this little arrow, I can change the size so it's smaller. What key do I hold down to subtract? It's not shift. What is it? Or control. Not control. Option. option, that's right. So if I hold down option and I start to paint again, I can get rid of this. So I don't want any of that background. I want to get rid of it completely. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to constantly size my brush so I get a more accurate selection. So shift and option are going to be key for you guys to make your selections. Let's get this shoe. So I'm going to go up here because I'm going to do a big section of it. I can use a bigger size. And I hold down the, what key? Shift. I'm going to add the white shoe. Now, it got some of that gray. So I'm going to constantly have to go in here and hold down Option and Shift and really refine this selection. Option, get rid of this area. Oh, you just got rid of your face. Hold down shift, get his hair back. Hold on option, get rid of that green. Get rid of this grass right down here. And that is the tool that I want you guys to use. Quick selection tool. Let's get your hands. Again, I'm gonna have to hold down option, get rid of the grass. Hands. And there we go. Now we have him selected. So after I've gone through this process and it is entirely selected, I can go to edit and I can copy it. And go into my picture and say edit, paste. I can use my move tool to move him into place. Now one thing about this, let's zoom in so we can see. See how it 
is kind of clunky in chunks of it. That's you spending more and more time with that quick selection tool, really refining it, okay, to get a smooth selection. Um, you're going to have to constantly size that selection tool up and down to get the little parts that you want to smooth out because this, that's fighting us with how realistic this looks, okay? And in fact, yeah, there's some green from the grass right there. So refining your selection is gonna be half of your time that you're gonna spend. Like, look at that. It got a little bit of the, the um, cement behind him as well. So shift and option. That's what I want you guys to do. And it's going to take you a long time to copy and paste this over. Um, that's about as much time as you'll have. Just refining your selection is going to take you a long time. It's going to take you about 20 minutes or so. So that's all I'm showing you guys today. On Monday, I'll show you how to do the shadows and any other things that we need to do to polish this up. Okay.